Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about rock stars. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, thank you so much for your videos. Oh, you're welcome. You mentioned that the, the time it usually takes for a developer to become valuable is one to five years, which begs the question, how to, how to direct efforts to get rockstar status within one year. Should you become a jack of all trades or specialize in something like front-end or go deep into React and Next.js? I tend to go with the second but I'm not sure. So well now I'm gonna be all engineering and philosophical and ask what do you mean being a rockstar developer because it can be so many things. You see a rockstar developer, depending on, well, a, I, most people will call a rockstar developer somebody who is, who basically, as I like to call it, they live the lifestyle of a software developer. And that, in essence, means that you're not only extremely talented in something relevant, but you're also very enthusiastic about the craft, you're involved in community work, you're doing all the things on social media, etc., or open source or so forth. You're basically going the extra mile. You're doing things that are outside of work. That is, for a lot of people, the definition of a rockstar developer. For my coworker, uh, it used to be the, that you write absolute shit code um, and you usually work in front end. Uh, and you think that you're writing good code. I don't know. I, I mean, he, I, uh, he, he was brought up in a time when rock stars trashed hotel rooms and stuff like that. Maybe they still do. I don't know. But we, we seem to think differently about rock stars. So if you have the ambition to become a rock star developer within one year, uh, I would say that it's going to be a little bit. Uh, it's going to be tough because that's, that's the thing, right? You can't. Re like, uh, I want you to have a bit of an inside perspective on this term. Guys, rockstar developer is a term people who have no fucking clue what software development is about throw around. They don't, they, they wouldn't know a, a, a single, like, a, they, they, they don't know what we do. The rockstar developer, they, it's, it's a nothing term that no self-respecting software developer would use, except for maybe maybe as an ironic or hopefully semi-comical way of giving themselves a nice title on LinkedIn so that they can be found by recruiters. Because the only people who ever use this term are either people who work in management or who are recruiters. And the thing is Every person who talks about rockstar developers, they are, as I said, like most of them are about finding the software developers who are extraordinarily talented or have a lot of experience, yet still have the passion. Like that's what they're looking for. The idea, that's why I say that usually when your values start skyrocketing is between one to five years, because that is roughly the area where you will if you have a passion for software development, because I've, I've met a lot of software developers who are just regular people who like they do their nine to five, they are not coding in their spare time and they got out of college, got their first job, etc., etc. They are not per se rockstar developers, but they, they get called rockstar developers depending on who is saying, who, who, who they're talking to. Uh, but usually the one to five year range is when you will have acquired at the very least the bare minimum skills to be considered a semi, a mid-level or a senior so, a sort, senior level sort of uh, software developer, which means that you have the skills, because that's the thing, right? Nobody wants, like, you know, n yeah. <laughs> nobody wants to hire a rock star who doesn't know what they're doing. That's uh, that's usually the case, right? Uh, so, if you want to achieve this, you you have to understand that it, it really comes down to what you're looking to become a rock star of. Because the thing is, I mean, you can be a rock star of machine learning. You can be a rock star of anything. As I said, like, don't focus so much on this term. Because uh, the the perceived value that you have is contextual to the people who are doing the evaluation, and they're just using this term as a way to uh, describe. In a, it's almost like, uh, honest to God, guys, I still feel like this is a bit of a sales thing. It is one of those. Th it's the same silly thing that. Uh, 
uh, people who have low self-esteem uh, get tricked by when their manager gives them a fancier title with more responsibilities but no additional pay. Uh, there are some people guys who really 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 care about titles and I hope that uh, you understand that is that is what the rock star status uh, this rock star thing actually is. But if I'm going to give you something concrete what I think from my perspective from my experience the best thing for you to do is to learn a stack and what I mean by that is basically that if you have the ambition to become the best just general purpose software developer within your first year of work it is very important that you start to uh, that you understand that the, what gives you value is not your attitude towards coding per se. It's a good thing that you have a good attitude, it's good that you learn a lot of tools, it's good that you are passionate, these are very beneficial things that are going to stand out, but what really matters is that you know the tools that are relevant to the companies doing the hiring. And that's really unfair, because a lot of them are using different things. So you have to do make some bets, because you can't, you, you, you have not had the time to learn it all. That's the difference between a senior and a junior developer. A junior developer has only had the chance to be exposed to a handful of concepts. And that's natural because it's going to take you time. This is why I laugh in the face of every single one of the people who are making these get to be a programmer really, really quickly, learn master this in that, uh, these, uh, this amount of minutes, and stuff like that. It's not going to happen. There's a very good reason why the all of the tech lead senior level type of developers are usually balding guys who are in their 30s. Because it takes time to get really, really good at all the things that you need to know. But the best way for you to start out, at least what I believe, is to start by learning the stacks. So start asking yourself this question, what type of work do you want to do? Let's say that you want let's you want to be a full, let's call it full stack development for the sake of argument. You want to be a full stack developer. Great. Cool. Now go to the job postings and look at the tools that most of the companies who are looking for full stack developers are using and start going through like create a list and realize that this like if you're going to fill that list up like with all the things that you could possibly focus on and be like really really wide, it's going to take you years and years and years to do that. So don't do that. Start by getting really, really good on becoming a rock star from the perspective of the people who are using the most common stuff. So create a list because that list is usually much shorter than like being a rock star from all person, all, all perspectives. Uh, and just start on start with one thing: become a rock star in the eyes of one type of company and learn that stack really really well because once you have learned that that is a very good foundation for you to then expand even further and if you really put your mind to it it's actually feasible for you to become a rock star within one year so what I want you to take away from this is that Rockstar is a term, um, don't get distracted by, a term, by terms that people who work primarily with uh, PowerPoint and sales pitches use uh, because they don't know what it is to be a software developer. It's just a word, that uh, it's just a name, a label. That doesn't mean anything really. Uh, and if you really do decide to become an in-demand software developer within one year or within the shortest amount of, of time possible, number one is to figure out what is it that you actually want to focus on because it's going to require a lot of effort for you to get really good really quickly. Usually it takes, and even if you do this, it's going to take you years to really master all of these things. That's why I say one to five years is like the minimum span for what is to be considered an experienced developer. If you look at the job posting, the a lot of companies even require more than six years, etc., etc., for truly senior developers. And in some cases, they're up to eight and ten years for the true like senior developers that they're looking for. So understand that this takes time. But once you go down in the road of figuring out what you want to do, go to the job postings and pick a stack. Don't go to forums and ask, oh, should I do React or Angular or like which one is better and then like have all these different opinions on why Angular beats React or React beats Angular. Go to the job postings. Look at what's popular in your region where you actually want to work because it doesn't matter what the internet thinks is the best stack 
what matters is the stack that you're going to work with that's the only thing that matters then master that thing and get really good at it and there you are you've now become a rock star from the perspective of your region and that's really only the region that matters if you're looking for your first job now isn't it have a great day